Kindred Space LA has changed the birth industry by being a resource, being a place, a safe space, which was always our intention to create a safe space for folks that look like me, folks of color, black folks, et cetera, and anyone else who feels comfortable in, in this space. We center black people and that was always our model. And, and I think what, what, what's different about us, I think birth centers have been around for a while, but what's different about us is that we, our intention is to center the black folks and their experiences, but also any other folks who feel like this is the space they wanna be in. And we're unapologetically centering ourselves. My name is Kimberly Durden. I'm a licensed midwife. I'm a lactation consultant, I'm a mom, I'm a grandmom, <laughs> and uh, first and foremost, I'm an advocate for, for birthing families. My family dynamics, um, not only just started with my mom and dad and the way that they encouraged us to do whatever we felt drawn to do, whatever we felt inspired us, um, was wonderful and very supportive, but I think what really pushed me into midwifery was my own family, my own children. I have six children. Without my own pregnancies, my, without my own experiences, becoming a mom, having births, lactation, breastfeeding, things of that nature, I doubt I would have ever walked this path or walked this journey into midwifery. A midwife is a person who takes care of pregnant and birthing people. As a midwife, I have the opportunity to guide people in their prenatal journey, to attend their births, and as a midwife, we're there to support that physiologic process. So we also take care of the family in the postpartum period. We're there to make sure that the family is healing well, that the mother is healing well, that the baby is breastfeeding well, and that everybody is, is, is everything is as it should be. Our primary goal is to to really support in a, in a very big way. A lot of times people think about midwifery care and they think it's about hippies and it's about, you know, burning sage and waving it over pregnant people, you know, and I want folks to know, especially our black community, that midwives have always been a part of our community. They are a part of our history, that this country was birthed by black midwives. Black midwives, were numerous throughout the South for many, many reasons, all rolled up into slavery, honestly. And, 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 but they were such vital members of the community until the United States worked to systemically wipe them out and bring in obstetricians, in particular white male doctors. And so what we're doing now, when you, if you have a child that, or, or your kid wants to give birth, with a midwife or you've heard somebody wants to birth with a midwife i want you to understand that we are we are the the daughters of we are the granddaughters of those ancestral midwives we are reclaiming our midwifery traditions that are inherent to black people and always have been and we hope always will be we get to spend a lot of time with our families really get to know them and we can also guide them to additional support so if we have someone that's having mental health challenges, we help them to get the support that they need. And traditionally, midwives were the women of the community that were older, that were maybe grandmothers themselves, and that were able to not just take care of pregnant folks, but they also took care of children. They also took care of elders. They, midwives traditionally in this country may have been the only kind of medical care provider in the whole community. Kindred Space LA was created uh, because my business partner and co-conspirator and co-midwife, Allegra Hill and I, who have been friends for over 12, 12 years or so, realized in about 2017 that this maternal mortality crisis that we were very much aware of and that was affecting black women disproportionately was uh, just unacceptable to us. And we, what we realized was that we had the tools together and enough experience collectively to actually create a solution to some of the issues and many of the issues that black women in particular are facing in this medical system. 
our initial mission was to start training folks who wanted to do this work and with a for us, by us approach, which is basically we're going to train birth workers and actually our trainings are only going to be for BIPOC folks and BIPOC folks uh, that may be queer, LGBTQ or whatever. That's it. It was actually inclusive, or I should say it was actually in exclusively for us, by us. We have the opportunity to create a space that we would want to go to, that we would want to birth our children in, that we would want to, you know, we've been able to create the type of care that we would want for ourselves. Allegra and I both had midwifery-led births, and so we knew what that felt like to be supported by midwives, and we knew what it felt like to feel safe with our choices of who we asked to support us in our birth experiences. And so we were on a mission to, to create that for our community. Black folks in hospitals report feeling that they're treated differently in those spaces than folks who aren't black or folks who aren't of color. I would say that I think our maternity healthcare system overall has a lot of challenges, not just with systemic racism and institutionalized racism, but overall, people don't feel like they're being heard. They don't feel like they're being seen. They feel like they're a num they're just a number. Uh, these are the things that I hear black folks who, who interview with us to come into care with us um, often say these things all the time. Childbirth classes are one of my favorite things in the world. I taught childbirth education for probably 25 years and I love the transformation that families have in a good childbirth class because most folks are taking a childbirth class in particular with their first pregnancy and they don't, most people don't know much of anything. So the childbirth class is a place where they get to learn all about childbirth, more about their pregnancy, about labor, which is, you know, about contractions, with everybody, which is what everybody wants to know about, and, and about postpartum. So it doesn't have to be a scary thing. You see partners learning how to be more involved or learning what their, play, what their role is in, in this journey. And I just, I absolutely love childbirth education classes. I think that everybody should take a childbirth education class if they're pregnant. Um, or planning um, to have a baby. Whatever you are and however you identify as a parent, you, it is vital for you to have a community of other parents to lean into. And why? Because that's just recreating the village. You know, when we, when our grandparents and great par grandparents were coming up and, and our ancestors were coming up, you know, it was about that family unit. It was about how we took care of each other. Like this is where we come together and start creating more community. And raising children, in my opinion, is always something that was meant to be done in community. Not just for the benefit of our children, but also for us as parents to support our mental health, our emotional health, our physical health, our financial health. You know, we were meant to do this in community and enhance our journey as parents. A lot of people are curious about what giving birth at Kindred Space LA looks like as compared to giving birth at a hospital. So I guess the short answer is that Kindred Space LA, when you come to our space, it feels like a home. Um, all the little kids that come with their parents, they often say, hey, we're going to the midwife's house. And I love that because they feel like this is a house, this is a home. So they're getting exceptional postpartum care and they're getting more than one visit just at six weeks postpartum. We're checking in throughout the entire early postpartum. So that's a huge difference from the hospital. So I'm confident that any pregnant person that feels that they're struggling can find the support that they need, the support that speaks to them, the community that they need. I wanna say it's out there, and I wanna say don't give up until you find exactly what you need for your journey, for your family. Don't give up until you find it, it's there.